Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel, Dream of Crafts. Today we'll be finishing up the second part of my 52nd week of Christmas. And if you remember, we had finished the outside here um, in the first video. Now, I forgot I wanted to put ribbon on this, so I had to come up with a plan B. So what I ended up doing was taking three of my bigger magnets and attaching them there. And then I also attached three on this side so that it has a nice closure. But what happened then is I have magnets on top of the paper that we created. So I found a piece of scrap that had that red edge on there that matched perfect. So I laid that on there. Well, then you have lines there so while well, i wanted to cover the line so i took some of the leftover black that we had i cut it into half inch strips and just laid three of those on there as a decorative element covers up my magnets and and it looks good so then i took um these are called ribbon brads and they've just got a little attachment on the bottom i got those from the eyelet outlet quite a while ago, quite a few years ago, but I don't know if they still carry them. I bought them when they were on clearance, so I don't know if they still have them or not. I've attached two little silver bells on some um, eighth inch red satin ribbon and just tied them on there just a little ways apart. And they are just like your bells from Hobby Lobby or Michaels or whatever. I just thought that would be a cute decorative element on there. Okay, so let's continue on. So for this, I want to cover this strip here. So I have cut a piece that will cover this. Now remember, we had three quarters of an inch here. So I cut this piece. I didn't think I wrote it on there. Some of my wrote tried to write on it. This is, it says three quarters, but that can't be. Yeah, it says three quarters. So... I don't want to interfere with anything, so to make sure that it doesn't. And I've inked this already. Let's go ahead and glue this on, and I'm hoping it does not interfere with my seams at all. Yep, it's going to. So I'm going to trim that down just a little bit with my scissors here. Just a little bit. I thought I cut it a little bit smaller. And apparently I wasn't paying attention because I don't want that to interfere with our um, lines there. I think I meant to cut it more like a just under, just a little over a half an inch. So we'll just add a little bit more ink on there. This is just mainly to cover up that brad. Um, so let's go ahead and add this. Now I decided that I could put in a little flip in here. So I um, will do that on the other side there. There we go. There, that looks better. And for this side here, I've chosen this piece here. And it is cut four, oops, let me get the right side of my ruler, four and, see, I think it's four and five eighths, if I should be eight and five eighths, four and five eighths by eight and five eighths. I thought that's what it was, but I just wanted to double check before I told you that. I'm going to put a little bit of glue on each one of these around there. And there's tape on there. And I did go with the bigger magnets in three of them because it is um, it's kind of bulky. So I don't know if bulky is the correct word. Um, I probably, when I did this, I should have probably made um, this one just a little bit wider than this one. 
but they line up fine. It's not a big deal. If I would have had ribbon, I wouldn't have had to worry about it. But I wanted to make sure that it stays closed. And then for this side, I want to put this pad of paper in here. And it's a small, what they call a small um, legal pad. And I get them at Walmart. You get a pack of uh, five or six for a very reasonable price, a couple bucks. So I did go back in here and I trimmed off a half inch off the back of this. I took another piece of my cardstock. This piece was cut at four and five, or five and five eighths by the eight and five eighths. I then attached two strips. I attached a tape, half inch tape down at the bottom, and then just above that, and these strips are about five inches, I attached two one inch strips that I have scored. These might be a little over one inch. These might be one. Yes, these are three quarters inch. So I scored that at um, half inch and then at five eighths to create a little gusset in there. And then I've taped, taped them down already and then added tape here. And that's just going to allow for me to remove this in and out easily if I need to, or next year if I need to replace it, if I want to reuse the same one, the net slides in there nicely, and it stops before the tape so it doesn't get stuck. So for the top part, because this would be weak, but um, I wanted to keep that strong. So what I did was I took two pieces when I when I um, cut the, down my paper for to cover the back of this, to cover our album. I had a strip left there, and that strip was one and a half, no, one in, about one and a quarter inches. So I took that and folded it in half, because it was 12 inches, folded it in half, glued it together, and then I glued it to the back of my paper where I wanted this to go. And how I found this line here was where this comes down to because that's where the pad see where the pad is right to there so I knew I had to go down at least this far so I wanted a little bit at the top so I brought it down about a quarter of an inch from the top made a mark there and a mark there and I used my punch with the small punch um, hole creator and I punched a hole there and a hole there. And then I just cut out with my X-Acto blade a little bit wider slot. So that then that slides in. So we can go ahead and attach this to here. And like I said, that's going to have that nice gusset there. So that will have room. All right, I'm going to take off this bottom piece. And I am going to add some glue here. I have a little bit of wiggle room through there and a little bit of glue there. There we go. And again, this is cut just a little bit smaller than the actual page. So I get a little area of color there that way. Push that down, that down. Stay away from that score line there. Yeah. And I did leave that open. I'm going to put some glue up under here because I can glue this part down. This part I can glue down. I just can't glue down the... There we go. So you want to keep this open inside here as a pocket. Okay, I'm going to let that set up really good before I slide this in. I'm going to set that aside. Now for my back panel, I've chosen this piece. And this piece is 5 and 5 eighths by 8 and 5 eighths. And I don't think I'm going to put anything on this. I was kind of thinking about it and 
I thought, well, I could put a tiny tag pocket. I'm just going to leave it for right this second. And as we go along, if something pops into my head that I can use or want, then we can create that. But nothing was coming to mind that I really needed that I didn't have already planned for this. So. Okay, so now for our hinge, for our little flip, I have cut a piece that is eight and three eighths, and I wrote it on here somewhere, there it is, eight and three eighths high by one and three quarters wide. On the one and three quarter side, I scored it at three eighths of an inch, seven eighths of an inch, and one and three eighths of an inch. And that gave me a half inch um, a little hinge to slide my thing on. And then each of these are three eighths of an inch. And it should fit on there perfectly. I've already pre-taped this to save a little time. So let's just go ahead and hold that down there. And then these are pre-taped too, but we got to add some tape to this part. So I'm going to add a little, I'm going to move this off to the side just for a second. I don't want to get tape stuck to that. So we're going to add some tape here. We don't want to hang it over the edge because we don't want that visible. We don't want it shiny. So right up to that edge. Now I'm going to peel this one off so I can get this other one on there. Because it's half inch tape and that's they're only each three eighths of an inch wide. Put that up there. Let me see if I can get that down. Just like that. And we're going to use some glue too. Just, just because if I stuck my fingers on it and got oils on that tape, I want it to still be able to stick. Okay. So let's uh, go ahead and press that down really good. And then peel that off just like so. Just add some glue. I decided I needed a little flip in there, create a little bit of extra room. All right, bring it back in here. Make sure our bell's out of the way so this is going nice and flat. And I'm going to bring this in from that hinge now this is smaller so i'm gonna try to get it even here and here looks like about hmm, just a little over maybe an eighth of an inch oopsie i'm trying to keep that pressed together there it's centered just like that. Give that a good press. Good press there. Okay, whoops. All right, let's let that set up. And while that's doing that, we will create our pocket to put on there. Or eight. So I took an eight and a half by eleven and I cut it in at five and a half. I took two one inch strips by five and a half inches long, scored them at one inch, and um, that's because, so I didn't have to cut a full 12 by 12. So we're going to attach those to this. And then that's going to create our page to put on our hinge. Now, if you want to cut up a 12 by 12, you can just add an inch to your length. 
and then score on one. You don't have to do it on both. And then um, score at a half inch on each end of that one. So you would cut one at, let me get you my measurements here in a second. You would cut one at nine and a half. Let me double check here. Yeah, because these are, I didn't come down. So you would cut, if you're going to use a 12 by 12, you cut one at nine and a half, score half inch on each end. And then you'd still cut one at eight and a half. So then it would just lay on top of there. There we go. So now we're going to glue this one here to these little, our little hinges here. I'm going to line that right up against there. Give me a little guide. Maybe. I think it'd be easier without it. I don't usually use a guide. Black on black is a little harder. Okay. And then we'll attach this side here. Over just a little bit there like that. Okay. That's our little page. Okay, so now for this front of this page. I have selected, let me get these out of my way for a second. Okay, I have selected this for a pocket here. So this is a piece that is, get it here for you, six and a half. I then scored it at three eighths. So I got it in here, scored at three eighths of an inch and then a half inch. Flipped it, scored at three eighths and a half inch. And that's going to give us a gusset in our pocket because we're going to be putting a little booklet in there. So we want that extra room. So I'm almost tempted to put this in first before I balk this all up, but I think we'll be all right. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this on there. Now it only gives you three eighths of an inch of a space, but that's fine. It should hold up just fine. I did round the corners on there also. So I'm going to bring that up there like that. Just like so. And now for this side, we're going to run some glue right along the bottom there. Glue that shut. And then we need some glue right on this other three eighth inch flap there. Just like that. Okay. So just go ahead and get that on there. And up the bottom. Just like that. You can see our little gusset there. Now as you go down to the bottom, you lose your gusset because um, there's no gusset at the bottom. But that's okay. That's just at the bottom edge. Up here, you keep it. You should keep it. What's going on here? What is going on there? There we go. Same thing there. I'm just trying to get that gusset to work right in there. There we go. 
once we get the book in there and then a couple times will be good so for the inside there i've chosen the santa claus and he is cut just a tiny bit smaller than that to slide in there so he is Gotta get the right end of the ruler. Five and three eighths wide, and then approximately I keep putting it together. Um, four and a half long, high. So just enough to slide in there. Okay. Oh, that that one I did have written on the back. Go ahead and slide this in there. Leave a little edge around the top there on the sides. There we go. Perfect. And then for the back of this one, I'm going to do an envelope for like receipts and stuff. So this one was a little a little kind of tricky here. Let me see here. Do I have that? I'm missing. Hmm. Look at that one. I'm missing a hinge. Where's my other hinge? We'll have to make another hinge. Okay, I don't know what I did with that. I'm not seeing it. I didn't make two hinges. There's one. Okay, so for the pocket on this page, that's going to drive me crazy. That's sticking out there like that. I'm going to have to get that scored better there. There we go. All right. Plenty of room there, for sure. Okay, so for this one, I've selected this pattern here. And I cut from the 12 inch length, I cut it and 3 eighths wide. I then cut um, the length at seven inches. I had a little piece left here. Well, actually, I cut. I cut this with eight inches. Okay, but then I ended up cutting an inch off. Okay, so I, I will tell you my original. My original is five and three eighths wide by five and three eighths high. I cut off one and a half inches off of this one because I wanted to put a pocket. I decided to turn it into an envelope. I was just going to cover it, but I turned it into So that piece is gone. Out of that original eight and three eighths, I had this piece left. I came in and I scored at one and a half inches. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down and then this is going to be my flap of my envelope. So to create my design for this, I took a two inch piece of scrap by five and three eighths wide. I folded it in half. I took my pencil and then I just drew out kind of like a little wave there. Cut it out with my scissors and then I have mirror imaged. So I took this and I put it on my one and a half inch score line. So I'm cutting off the bigger piece here, the section that is, no, it is one, it is two inches. It's about two inches. So I am laid this on the, that line, my one and a half inch score line, drew with my pencil, and now we're going to cut that out. And that's going to be our flap for 
our pocket. And you can do any design. You can leave it straight across if you want. I just like a little bit of a, an element there just for something different. Okay. So there. I need a pencil. I'm going to erase that. It says one and a half inches. Okay. So this is going to get glued to the top here. So that's going to be this part here. Okay. This piece here, I went up a half inch on my pattern and drew a line. I then brought this up that half inch so it's shorter. Otherwise, it's going to be the same length as this and it'll, it'll show underneath and I didn't want that. So this is a half inch shorter than this. So I brought that up to my half inch mark, drew my pencil line. Now we're going to cut this out so it's going to be a half inch shorter than our thing coming down, but it's going to coordinate with it. Our little flap, just like that. See? So now when this comes down, it's going to cover that by about a half inch. But we'll have plenty of room to get in there and put our receipts in. Now this is what the hinge was for. And like I said, I created two, but I don't know how to do a mad one. So we need a hinge because we want that pocket to be a little deeper. So let's go ahead and glue on a hinge. Uh, let's see. Why do I need? I think I'm going to need a little bit more, a little bit more on there. Okay. So our hinges go with the opening facing in. There we go. All right. Let's make another hinge together here. Got a little scrap piece of paper here. Let's cut one inch. One inch hinge. There we go. I'm gonna score it and a half inch. Oh, he's already shooting. As soon as I do this, you know the other one will show up. I had no idea. I honestly have no idea where it went. I don't know if it fell off on the floor when I was moving things around or what. Okay, so I'm going to kind of make a mark on here so I know about where my glue ends. All right. So let's put some glue on this one here. Okay. And then this should give us enough room for our receipts and stuff in there. Just like that. And we're going to go in and trim these off following our edge there with our design. Perfect. And make sure our pocket's facing down. So now we're just going to go in here and then this is cut to leave a little edge around there. So let's go ahead and glue this down. This does not have a gusset. It is just a pocket. There we go. I think I just got glue off the of there. Don't want any glue under there. I'm getting gooped up on the tip of my glue nozzle there. There we go. All right. Like I said, we're going to leave just a little bit of edge on the sides and on the bottom there. There we go. Okay. And then this is our other part. 
that gets put hmm. for some reason for some reason that's not working did I plan oh there it is I'm like I know I I laid this out so this is going to get glued like this so this will just flip up like that okay so this one and a half inch edge there where we is going to get the glue there I'm like how did I how could I be so far off <laughs> that's funny and so we're going to line that up drop it down a little bit just like that like that and then that will flip up like so now I think I want to take this piece that we cut off here and I'm going to glue that in there I'm going to trim it off just a little bit on each edge so it'll slide in there but I'm going to just use that to fill in that black spot there so I've just trimmed off just a little bit so I can get this slit in there, see? And then I'm going to bring it right up to there. And then that's going to help seal that inside of that. Okay? So we're just going to fully glue that down. And then just slide it right back in there. And it will be just a little bit lower than that. So it won't show. Give it just so we don't want to interfere with our little thing there. So that little black edge ain't going to hurt anything there. There we go. Just like that. Yep. And I think, let's go ahead and add some... I'm going to close that. Let's go ahead and add a couple of brads and some string, I guess. Let me see what I do. I got red. Let's put a couple of red brads there. I got some tiny brads here. Now, let's go with something more decorative. Hang on here. Something a little more decorative. Some twine here, some baker's twine. I think I'm gonna go with the red and white. Okay, so these are some small um, brads I got from the eyelet outlet. Little pearls set in the center. Okay, so we'll take out two of those. We don't need anything too big because it's a small many of them, so those are like perfect. So let's go ahead and We're going to poke a hole. Let's see, that one's there. Let's put this one right. I want to find my center here so I'm not too far off. All right. So we got that. So, two. I'm going all the way to the outside edge. Five and a half. So, two and a quarter. Two and a half. I don't know what I'm thinking. With the center. Two and three quarters. Two and three quarters. All right. Right like in here. Let's put one right up in here. Like so. And so the feet are out this way. Oh my goodness sakes. 
it down a little bit. I'm going to leave it up just a little bit so that I can get my string under there. Like that, and we will cut another piece to cover that. We have our template. So let's do, we got some scrap pieces here. Find a scrap piece big enough. That'll work. So let's go ahead and draw on this one here. There we go. This is a, from the other piece that we used. Let's go ahead and draw our design on there. There we go. Cut that out. That'll get glued right there and that will cover up that brad okay and we'll smudge the edge in a second okay if we need to trim some off we can and we do so let's go ahead and Trim that off to match. And that's not uncommon when you're cutting because you're cutting by hand. So it's not like um, not like everything is exact. Let's just go ahead and smudge that up there. Do this side here. There we go. All right. So then our second brad, I think I've lost, they, they roll off into my little trash bin there that's connected to my workstation. And I think I've thrown a couple of, the, of these away without realizing it. Because it's like, I should have a whole bunch of these and I don't. So let's go ahead and put this one right about in here. Okay. Let me get these worked apart just a little bit before I get it in there so it's not so hard for me. All right. These are very long prongs. I'm surprised. Usually the prongs aren't this long. All right. Open it. And again, we're going to leave it up just a little bit. I'm pressing down. We're going to take a scrap piece, and I don't care what it is. This is a little, oh, that's kind of cute. It's just, uh, what's in the trash here? It can be white. It doesn't matter. And we're going to glue that down in there so that nothing catches on there. And that brad is not going to bother anything. There we go. I dropped it just below that lip there so the things don't catch on that either. There we go. Perfect. And we got a nice pocket there. And get some receipts in there. All right. Let's add some string. Let's go with the baker's twine. I like baker's twine. Oh, that should be plenty. Let's just go ahead and we can cut it shorter once we get it. To wrap it around there, tie it. Yeah, a couple. You can tie it about three times here. Make sure it's secure. Okay. And then get in there and snip that off. And then round it. And you you want to just go. Straight down, you can just whatever you decide to do, make sure that you um, do that all the time. There we go. So that is our pocket there. We got a pocket here. Let's go ahead and put our book together. So, as I told you before, I went to 
um, www.thepolkadotposey.com and selected her um, free printables for it's like a um not a journal but like your uh daily i don't know i don't remember what it's called <laughs> it's not a journal but um for like your your um your books i don't remember anyway that's where i got this so what i've done is i've trimmed off all my edges and I folded them in half. So they were all a little bit bigger than this because I had shrunk it down to 92%. I didn't print it at a full 100%. I did it at 92% so it would fit in my book. I then brought it in, I trimmed all the edges, folded it in half, and then um, burnished my score line. In. Now this is just printer paper, so it's a little lightweight. So then I started gluing them together back to back. So what I did was I took my first one, folded it, did all, all that. And then I took my second one and I glued my backs together. So this is my first one. So then I glued my next one folded together. And I just used a really light amount of glue because this is printer paper. And if you get too much glue in there, it's going to warp and stuff. So I used a very fine amount of glue and then I just kept gluing them back to back as I went along. Now to the ones that were just blank, I added um, in my own handwriting gifts to make. So I have that page. I have activities because we are always um, doing different activities with the kids during the Christmas season. So that way I can write down the activities coming up when they are and what we're going to do. So I saved one to attach with you. And that one is holiday baking, what to bake, and my shopping list. This is blank if I need to uh, add additional baking things or additional shopping things. I have room there to do that. So I'm going to add a light amount of glue to this one. Maybe my glue is plugged up here. There we go. Still plucked up. Okay. There we go. Like I said, I just a very, very, very light amount. Dang it, plugged up again. Because I do not want this to warp and be all messy. So I'm just doing very light around my edges there. And just a few little things there. Then I'm going to put my left side against here. Line it up. Make sure it's all lined up perfect. And then push it down. Okay. So now my booklet is together. Okay. And that gives these a little bit more stiffness too um, because they're glued together. So then I needed a cover. So I took one of my card stocks, chose the polka dot. I cut this at 10 and 3 eighths long by 8 inches high. I then scored at 5 and 1 eighth and 5 and a quarter. That gives me a little gusset there for the thickness of my book. We're going to glue this page and this page inside the book. Okay. So I'm going to start with the back page. And we're going to just, again, a thin layer of glue. Just, just so I can barely see it. And we're going to. Bring this up here and center it. I should have just a little bit of edge around each side. Yep, just like that. Okay. Got a good press. 
Now I'm going to take and I'm going to add a thin bead of glue on this one. And you could leave these loose in your book if you want. I just um, wanted them to be nicely. So I'm going to bring that over just like that. It has that gusset in there so my edges to my book should line up. There we go. Put my pen in. And then there's our little book. So, yeah, so that wasn't so hard now, was it? And right there, just like that. Perfect. And that is the one that slides inside of that little pocket we made there. Should slide right down in there nice and easy. Yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and put a tag on the front of this. Let's see. How about how about the season's greetings? Let's go ahead and put that on there. That'll look nice. right down just like that eyeball it there we go okay all right so let's go ahead and slide our um page in let's get this in there and get this out of my way a second okay. get our bells out of the way and we'll go ahead and attach our page let's do a test fit this was cut small. It should slide on pretty nice. There we go. All right. I'm going to work this just a little bit here so it flexes nicer. And we're going to peel this back here, like so, like so, I can pull that off, okay. And we're going to center that on, what is going on here, what is going on here? I'm going to touch that to there. Okay. And I'm going to pull this out here. There we go. Slide that on there. Perfect. And then we're going to do the same to this side. Pull that out. Slide it down there. There we go. Give it a good. All right, and that's those stick up a little bit, but that's not a big deal because I'm, there's nothing we can do about that. All right, so let's go ahead and slide our book in, our pad, I mean, our paper pad in. Let's make sure we got this going right. That should slide in there nicely and it does straighten it out a little bit here perfect look at that now let's put our booklet in here that should slide in perfect yeah like i said i don't have a plan for this yet but maybe i'll put a nice five by seven photo we're having the kids photos taken here pretty quick so maybe that'll be in there as a as a reminder of um, the season and all the reasons we celebrate it we've got our nice 
book here. We've got plenty of room for notes and stuff here. So let's close it up. Oops. Come on, magnets. There we go. Ooh, scared me. <laughs> it is like the perfect thickness, though. Just like the perfect thickness. All right. So there is week 52 of my 52 weeks of Christmas. And I want to thank you all for following along. And for those who have taken the time to subscribe and um, comment, I really appreciate it. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, um, please consider doing it at this time. I will continue to do videos. Like I said, I'm going to be um, starting on the mini albums and working on them as my priority. And uh, I'll throw in some crafts here and there. But uh, until the next time, I hope you have a great night. Bye-bye.